May 10th regular county board session passed a motion on our commissioner warrants and then went into our legislative call with uh, lobbyist uh, Soberg and that lasted for approximately 20 minutes and we talked about the priorities that um, Itasca County has in our legislature for this session. We reappointed our county engineer and uh, Karen Grandia and that has to happen officially every four years by statute. We approved a, um, an MOU to an existing contract that dealt with post healthcare savings plan. We had an update on county-based purchasing, I am care. And uh, number nine went on to uh, support uh, surface transportation grant by MnDOT. And even though that it's not uh, directly in Itasca County, it does affect 169 from Aiken all the way to Hill City. So we are uh, joining in, at least in the support piece uh, with MnDOT that uh, we, we approve of it and would like to see it happen. Number 10, we uh, approved a schedule. What uh, the purpose is, is we approved a schedule to go to each of our county facilities, all of our county garages, uh, the, the facilities owned by the sheriff and, and our land department, and to take tours, uh, see the employees, and uh, you know make take down recommendations that might be there in terms of what we may need to see uh, as far as what needs to be fixed or what's going well. So uh, that schedule is public. It's posted as a public meeting uh, and that can be found uh, after today's meeting now on our county website. Number 11 on our schedule or on our uh, agenda was to start talking about our budget sessions. And again, those are public meetings. So those are meetings that we, we would schedule and post because all commissioners would be there, plus all of our department heads. And we will begin uh, those sometime in August. We consensually agreed today that uh, we would start that process in August and um, we'll get those dates out later at that time. And last on the agenda was to recognize National Peace Officer Day, which is Saturday, May 15th, and also Peace Officer Week, which is May 11th through the 17th. And the purpose is to give special recognition to those fallen officers that um, have protected and served our, our communities and our county 24-7, um, and we much appreciate their service. So we recommend or recognize nine officers uh, that have been fallen, have fallen in the line of duty in Itasca County. Uh, we took some uh, very brief uh, commissioner comments there was no closed session, so we adjourned the meeting at 329. Thank you and have a great rest of the week.